And there we go. The second episode of Mario RPG for Nintendo Switch is... Well, I guess it's imported. It's not really. Uh, <laughs> very close to, to getting done being edited, but that's not going to take a whole lot of time. Anyways, hello! It is Monday, the 20th of November, and in addition to it being Monday, it's also kind of Thursday, in a way. Um, if you're in the United States, you're well aware what week this is. It's the week of Thanksgiving. Uh, but if you're not familiar, Thanksgiving, it is a celebration of overindulgence, essentially. Uh, we, we eat food, and I, I don't know. The theme is supposed to be like thanks, because it's, it's Thanksgiving, like what you're thankful for and stuff like that. But there's some, I don't know, some historical things that kind of make me uncomfortable. Because I'm Native American, so I don't want to get into all that, but <laughs> regardless... We got some turkey, we got some potatoes, we got some stuff to make pies and what have you, and we're going to have a great feast. And naturally, given the fact that this week is a holiday, it's a two-day work week, so I only have to work my day job today and tomorrow. So, henceforth, this is my Thursday. So, very excited for that. Uh, it's about midway through the day, so we still have a little bit to go, but I did want to talk a little bit about Super Mario RPG. As I mentioned on the onset of this vlog... I've recorded a little bit of it now, so I think I am equipped to give my preliminary thoughts on it. And of course, I do plan on sharing more about it during next week's podcast, which of course, Tuesdays, 8 p.m. Spotify or on the Let's Play channel if you're so inclined. Uh, anyways, Mario RPG, not a game that I had really played. I had played a very small, small, small amount of it back when I was like seven or eight or something like that, but I never really played it, certainly not to the depth where I could actually understand what I'm doing. And having had that same experience with Paper Mario and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, that same experience meaning uh, like an actual enriching experience and I did understand what I was doing and had a great time, I was always so keen on getting back to Super Mario RPG. Whenever I could get a Super Nintendo, whenever I could get the cartridge, and when I started the Let's Play channel, it was roughly coinciding with uh, a lot of the updates that Nintendo Switch Online was getting for its emulators, and I was always holding out hope, crossing my fingers, my toes, my eyeballs, that I would get the game on Switch, you know, via the emulator, right? Never ended up happening, but lo and behold, they made a full-on remake remaster of it, and it's excellent. I'm having a ton of fun. I don't necessarily have any baseline to compare it to, because as I said, I did not play the original, but for what it is... I am already in love. It's right up my alley. It's everything that I would ordinarily enjoy in, in any standard game, but then when you psh, slap a Mario skin on it, it's perfect for me. <laughs> it's amazing, right? I love Mario, I love Nintendo, and specifically, I love RPGs, so being able to get all of those together is just a great experience. You know what I'm saying? So it's not quite the Paper Mario experience that I had loved from those playthroughs, but it is so gosh darn close. So gosh darn close, and it's easy to see, like, how it evolved into Paper Mario, or at least Paper Mario 64 and then Thousand Year Door. Uh, Paper Mario, or Super Paper Mario and its sequels are obviously further removed from, from Mario RPG, and as such, a little bit less, uh, how do we say, in that same vein. But the point is, it's a really good game, a really beautiful game, a really fun game. And if you're not playing it, I encourage you to check out the Let's Play. If you are playing it, check out the Let's Play. Really, if you have any interest at all in any of those topics, whether the Mario RPGs or just Nintendo in general, I think it'd be well worth your time. Alternatively, if you just like listening to some random dude on the internet ramble while he plays them, that's as good of a reason either. So, I am going to, uh, to finish up work here, and then I'm going to get back into it and record a few more episodes. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. And... We are just about done for the day. I need to set a the uh, short for tonight to upload into the drive. Um, but we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. And it was a great productive day as well. Goodness sakes. Uh, I, again, I mentioned this already earlier, but I continue to be impressed by Mario RPG. I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I'd like to record some more but if you couldn't tell because of the lighting, it is getting late and I need to cook dinner. Um, the chicken is not yet thawed, so I'll probably find some other way to be productive. I should probably do the dishes. I don't want to do the dishes, but 
we're gonna make dishes by making chicken, so I should make the dishes so that we just don't have an exorbitant amount. I think that would be the sensible thing to do. <sighs> so I'm gonna do that and then get prepared for, I guess, another day of the same tomorrow. Again, like I mentioned earlier, today being my Thursday, tomorrow is my Friday. Still gotta record some episodes. Still gotta get prepared for the holiday. But we're coming up on a little bit of time off. That'll be cool. So thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and hope that you enjoyed yourself. And with that said, well, I'll see you tomorrow.